Presenting to you iTalk 2nd edition 2023, jointly organized by the Department of Commerce, Mahimanapal and IBAT. IBAT isn't just a typical think tank, it's a dynamic force that concludes extensive research and also engages in advocacy on subjects spanning the realms of management, both in general and its specific aspects like the social policy, economics, geopolitics, technology and culture. This remarkable organization is dedicated to addressing the issues that have substantial importance and impact in our society today, both at home in India and also in the global arena. Allow me to introduce to you all the host, Department of Commerce, Mahi Manapal. Department of Commerce is a dynamic hub of knowledge and expertise where academic rigor meets real world applications. It also is leading in shaping future leaders of commerce and industry. Department of Commerce, Manipal Academy of Higher Education has courses to offer in BBA, BCom, MSc, MCom, MA and PGD in Logistics and Supply Chain Management. It's a brief about the Department of Commerce. This morning, we've gathered here to introduce to you iTalk, a project that springs from the very core of IBAT's predominant mission iTalk is a community-driven effort aimed at bringing IBAT's enlightenment ideas to the hearts and minds of the local communities throughout India. It's about sharing impactful ideas, sparkling meaningful discussions, and also creating a wave of positive change. We hope that you find today's event as engaging, thought-provoking, and inspiring as it is always. As we explore the potential of iTalk, let us invite you all into this brightening and enlightening journey. We welcome you all. The organizing committee this year has come up with a very diverse kind of uh, setup of speakers where we have speakers coming from different backgrounds who are going to enlighten their experiences, their learnings to all of you. And it is definitely going to be a very uh, informative, entertaining, and uh, something which will give you a chance to think about certain things which you ne may probably have never thought about. It. Many times uh, in our uh, routine life we focus on our disciplines, what we have come to study for and we ignore certain areas which uh, probably would interest us and would definitely make us a better or holistic personal personality. But we uh, typically ignore those uh, uh, topics and we focus morely on the discipline. We become, we start working in silos. So typically this uh, particular uh, kind of activity we are actually organizing to break this silo so that people work on interdisciplinary areas. And that is something which uh, even the national education policy talks about and even Mahe advocates it to a large extent. So keeping that in mind, uh, uh, Department of Commerce and IBAT partnered in organizing this activity and we have this wonderful location where we are organizing it. I am sure you will enjoy the entire show. In the interest of the upcoming students, they should know what is going on around, they should know which carrier they should select and all that and for that purpose they should have first hand information from this HUS mouth. So it is not online program, it is offline program on each one and therefore if you listen to those people who are outside in their profession, who are outside in their activities and all that and who have excelled in almost all the fields and that's why we have selected the speakers from different fields. So we got professors, we got doctors, medicine and education academicians and all that. I request um, Dr. Sandeep Prashanoi, C.A.K. Rajaram Shetty, Dr. K. Dasharat to join us as well to do the honours. I request all speakers, organizing committee members and curators to come forward for a group photograph. 
all the speakers, organizing committee members, curators, kindly come forward for a group photograph. speaker Sripati Ranga Bhatta. Some people are uh, blessed to be adept and versatile, to be able to integrate a rich tapestry of experience in arts, academia as well as the corporate worlds. Sripati Ranga Bhatta is one of them. Armed with an MBA in finance, he has spent a decade contributing significantly to various domains of business management and finance. His roles have ranged from assistant professor at Srinivas University, Mangalore, to senior executive at Ascent Telecom Infrastructure Private Limited. He uniquely and successfully merges comprehensive knowledge management with strategic initiatives very seamlessly. Beyond the realm of finance and academia, Sripati is also a passionate singer and has serenaded audiences on various platforms with his Carnatic classical music and singing. Currently, he is navigating through the intricate world of e-commerce and supply chain management in his PhD pursuit at Manipal Institute of Technology. With keen observational eye and a distinct knack for analyzing emerging trends, Sripati perpetually situates himself at the forefront of innovation within his field. His linguistic versatility, coupled with his interest in travel and music, crafts him into a well-rounded individual and a speaker. He is ready to captivate audiences with his multifaceted experiences and insights. Sripati, looking forward to hearing from you. A very good afternoon to everyone. Uh, if we can just connect to with, uh, what Do Dr. Rachana was, uh, you know, pointing as a solution, the systemic part, the change part, where my topic or the topic which I am trying to share with you also has a pivotal role, I believe. To begin with, very much familiar pictures. Why am I having it here? Just to, you know, uh, get the meaning of what I want to share. One which talks about, I mean, both talks about the same thing. One in a most, uh, if I can use unappealing way, only for the sake of it, for the government. If you can clearly read it, for the government is what it is written. The other thing, has better reason to remember. What is it? That's exactly what I'm going to share now about the nudge. An approach that seeks to alter human behavior in a predictable manner by engineering an environment that gently pushes people towards a certain goal. Here, people are given with an ambience or circumstance or things around them are engineered in such a way that they mostly unconsciously they tend to show a behavior which is exactly the objective of that creation of ambience the nudging talking about the background we have this uh, people taylor and uh, sustain who have coined, I mean, who have authored the book called Nudge, where they have postulated that the idea that people can be nudged to make the right choice without pressurizing them or restricting their freedom of choice. Wherein we have authors like uh, Daniel Kahneman, who have uh, who have explained uh, in their uh, book titled uh, Thinking Fast and Slow have articulated two types of uh, cognitive models, system one and system two. Basically, they are nothing but system one, which is responsible for the quick 
and uh, unconscious or very easy or not so rational type of decisions which people take and system 2 which is more rational time taking analytical in nature where the decision takes place so dissecting the decision architecture wherein this nudging talks about more about the first part system 1 wherein quick decisions can be rooted the way people uh, want the outcomes the way they want the outcomes just to give a distinction between what management and how nudging is different management usually involves a directive or an action that compels someone to alter in the direction that the authority demands wherein here in nudging people are given complete freedom to choose but they are gently pushed so that the outcome is as desired completely retaining the freedom of decision making with them just to quickly take you through uh, everybody's uh, routine if you start your day the nudging starts with the very beginning of alarm okay and the gentle sound which is increasing gradually is also a nudge to start your day with a good mood moving on in your washroom or maybe toothbrush which which gave you a lot of uh, you know uh, promises like advanced whitening or cavity protection this all affirms you that you have taken a good decision that's again a nudge and the shampoo the easy with which it outflows making it more consumable is also a type of nudge we are normally uh, we, we normally come across after that if you see people who pay there are also some part of nudging wherein the very placement of things which we use for worship or when we come across we end up following the routine after that in breakfast also the placement of things which we normally consume the way if they are kept it also is a nudge for you when you go to office again you have multiple uh, nudgings across your uh, um, route it could be a mobile phone ad or a travel plan which is given to you or on your face on your route in office time also placement of water disposal it could be or tea vendor, uh, vending machine it's all the proper placement is a nudge to take you know quick breaks and have a chit chat with your colleagues lunch time also there are many nudges which happens in your cafeteria including peer conversation leading to many purchase decision also of post lunch the snack time the aromatic uh, you know vehicle or maybe the uh, again canteen you know bombarding with the aromatic uh, things in cuisine is also a nudge to you to have regular snacks post back to your uh, home if you go again nudging doesn't leave you alone in grocery shop whenever you go for shopping there are placements of items inside the uh, grocery store uh, stores and uh, exciting offers which also is nudging you in plenty of ways again back home after settling down coming back from office the very living room is an enticing or nudging for you to watch family shows in tv and in between add also nudges you to you know go for uh, uh, maybe a food ordering or uh, things like that which is induced during your watch of tv settling down for a peaceful sleep before that as all of us have habit of scrolling through our mobiles again lot of nudges to go through stories or reels or you know some updates or things like that and post which if you are you know uh, dnd which will keep you peaceful sleep and finally with the ambience it's all part of nudge in day to day life now why do people concentrate more? this is just an observation an effort to make you how we without realizing that this is this we are exposed to this so this there can be multiple reason or purposes for which people uh, do this to summarize this one could be to facilitate when we say facilitate it is you know uh, concentrating or you know exploring that simplicity people would like to have when they want to make a choice example could be a simple drop down option or a tick mark which is given by default to you whenever you are transacting in uh, 
online uh, transactions or there are some countries uh, especially european countries wherein in hospitals organ donation is a by default uh, opt in uh, option unless you are specifically opting out your uh, membership is counted for organ donation which has led to phenomenal results of increase in uh, organ donation community strategic placement of uh, fruits in salads in uh, your uh, uh, food outlets is also another way of facilitating your nudge so that you don't need to choose uh, you know with great difficulty it is easily displayed you select something from it highlighting uh, highlighting the profitable dishes when you go through the menu is also a nudge which normally people uh, entertain in hotel when they are shown the when they are showing you the menu and of course free samples try a bite all these things are frequently being used to nudge which is all part of facilitating coming back to the next one is confronting when you see confronting using the fear of regret to make people pause and think more carefully about their choices okay so it could be something like you know giving a delay deliberately in the escalator or maybe the lift lift is normally slow in our institution it can be a deliberate act but at the same time it can also be a nudging to those to think if it is first floor or second floor why can't we just walk it will take a lot of time that's also a nudge which is a confrontational type alcohol sale restricted on certain days of week or times is also a confrontational uh, nudge strategic speed bumps in parking lots is also a type of nudge to you know be calm and quiet when you park in a designated place not to rush and create damages the next variety is to deceive we may also need to do engage in this deceit of uh, uh, deceit activity when we talk about deceit manipulating the perception to guide decisions towards specific desired outcome when we see that it could be in, the, in terms of examples if you see online tickets with the low fare in upfront and if you reach the payment stage you will have all unavoidable cost mounting to more than thought amount that's again uh, a manipulative nudge you can come across stores placing their own brands in a pivotal place in the first area where you get into the uh, store you are shown all their own brand products first so that once you select almost all products that you wanted to shop then comes the place wherein you will find other brands this is also a type of manipulative brands i mean uh, nudge fake surveillance many time you you can find the, the, the billboard or maybe a poster saying that you are under surveillance you may not find actually in many places a working cctv at all but that is enough for nudging which is manipulative but yet important and useful elusive speed bumps also can help drivers to slow down and uh, you know indulge in uh, peaceful driving again one more familiar thing which is kind of deceptive uh, uh, deceitful nudge is which most of us perhaps are familiar whenever you are given a task to you know portray your performance we be, we tend to show the graph which will highlight our performance the most so which is nothing but a beautiful type of nudging next the fear evoking fear loss or uncertainty to channel decisions is another type or the purpose for which people end up using the nudge like flash sales or maybe early bird entry or even last two seats left please book early limited edition products all these will be a kind of uh, fearful uh, attempt or attempts to make the user feel fearful last but one is reinforce highlighting specific actions to make us more likely to choose them could be like the fitness trackers or app that we normally have loyalty program compelling us to use their services again and again or customer reviews saying that 2k people have ordered this today so this you know uh, reinforcement will end up making us go with that decision and there was one beautiful uh, you know reinforcement message which is popular in google image which i come across is like there was this public place in somewhere in foreign country there is this waste disposal uh, uh, bin kept strategically wherein they are asking who is the best player 
one option with the bin is Lionel Messi, the other option is Cristiano Ronaldo. And they are asking you to poll by dropping the cigarette butts. So people who are passionate will end up contributing that which also invariably contribute to the sustainability and cleaner environment also. So talking about the last one is social influence, guiding out actions by you know, showing what others are doing. You are nudged by highlighting others' performance or others' activities, such as hotel towel reuse uh, advocacies. Okay? Then there is also this story which a sir is uh, shared, which I remember is the US poll where women population who come to OAT were very less. It was almost uh, something close to 20 to 25 percentage. So it is told in one cycle that 75 percentage of women are not voting, thinking that they will realize and come back. It never happened. But next cycle when it happened, people have nudged it in such a way that 25 percentage women have started coming to this League of Voters. It has had an impact. So how others are doing is also a nudge. Similarly, 9 out of 10 people contribute to this charity is a board. So you also tend to contribute by automatic means. Most popular dish in this restaurant is this. So that also is a type of reinforcement, uh, sorry, social influence nudge. Then the beautiful thing which I again came across uh, in one of WhatsApp shares was an ad wherein traffic signals how it was managed. It was a place wherein all came to red light signal place, wherein a couple of people or one person was not wearing headlight, I mean helmet. There was this traffic signal which was uh, kind of uh, not the simple light but a display type of uh, traffic signal. So it identifies the face without a helmet and shows that in the screen saying that except for this person showing this, all others have green signal. So that person automatically end up putting the helmet and automatically you also have green signal. This is, this is one classic example wherein the social influence can also be the purpose of nudging. Quickly to take you through, when can this go wrong? There are possibilities that when people misunderstand audience or when there are a couple of habits which no matter what push people give from external things, it will never change. There are such uh, aspects also. Cultural barriers, not being able to compare with each other. Or you have this uh, perceived manipulation. You are part of, you know, some nudge which you regret, cognitive dissonance. Then mixed messages. When you give the nudging, you are, you are contradicting yourself, which doesn't reach the target. So these are the ways in which it can go wrong. If you're planning a nudge, these essential steps invariably have to be attended. Define the purpose and result that you want to achieve. Explore the option to design different nudges. Design different alternatives. Select one based on pre-test or pilot study. Choose that. Implement it. Evaluate and continue. So with this, I would also try to recollect this fact of in uh, statistics which I came across in a paper related to nudge that. It is t told that human decisions, almost 95 percentage are based on the system one type of thing, which is, uh, you know, spontaneous, without much rational. So the whole purpose of, uh, you know, what I thought is important to share is whether you want to be in that 95 percentage who are always getting nudged or you want to be in the other 5 percentage. Thank you. Dr. Sinai, may I request you to please give the momentum to our last speaker?